how you doing? Welcome back to B-Man is Man. So we got a little bit of exciting news for you. Uh, this is not necessarily all honest about the Irish uh, show today. Um, I'm going to take my YouTube channel on the road, and I am going to the North Carolina Notre Dame game on September 30th at Notre Dame Stadium in South Bend slash Notre Dame, Indiana, whatever you want to call it. Uh, maybe I'll put a video up there of Notre Dame campus. Maybe I'll put a video up there of me tailgating. I'm trying to borrow a grill from someone right now, uh, like a little, you know, miniature tailgating propane grill, because I don't want to buy a grill and only use it one time, uh, because I have not been to a Notre Dame game. This will be my first time since 2016 since I've been to a game. I'm excited. Uh, so... You know, it'd be kind of a waste of money to go out and spend 100 or 50 bucks on a grill and only use it one time and throw it in my garage and collect dust. So uh, if any of you out there who live in the Northwest Indiana area have a propane grill, please hit me up and let me know. And I really appreciate that. I mean, I have not been to South Bend in a while. Uh, I've not been to Notre Dame in a while, uh, at least three years for a softball game. Uh, so, you know, I'm excited. Uh, I, you know, maybe I'll do a show after the game, hopefully in the parking lot. Maybe I won't get made too fun of by Notre Dame fans. Now, there's something different I want to do at Notre Dame. Um, and that is mostly tailgating and drinking. I don't drink very much. But the problem I have, and listen, a lot of people are going to say, well, why are you a Notre Dame fan? You know what? Going to a Notre Dame game is different and I hate when Notre Dame fans use that word because we're different. No, Notre Dame fans are different. Okay, I'm the typical young male uh, college football fan that wants to eat bratwurst and, and steak and beef and cook something on the grill and drink a couple beers, you know, and get a little, not, not hungover or not drunk, then hungover, a little tipsy and then stop drinking, enjoy the game, go have a couple more, more beers and of course go home and have a safe de designated driver, okay? But the problem that I have is that Notre Dame fans walk around the campus, oh, this is a beautiful campus, Notre Dame. Listen, folks, I've been going to Notre Dame games for my whole life, okay? Up until 2016, I went to a game every year. Uh, maybe there was a couple years where I skipped out uh, because of life happened, stuff like that. But I went, I, I've gone to a Notre Dame game, let's say 37 years out of my life, and I'm 41. So that's mostly all of my life. And every time I've gone, I've never really ta tailgated. Every time I've gone, I have walked around, looked at the church, look at the place where they light the candle and you say a prayer for someone. I don't even know what they call that anymore. I forgot. And you go look at the beautiful lake with the golden dome. I don't even know the name of the lake. And you just, you go look at the different scenery and be beautifulness of Notre Dame because Notre Dame does have a beautiful campus. But let's face it, Notre Dame fans are like people who go into antique stores who walk in and just go, oh, you know, with their jaw drop and talk about how beautiful the campus is. No, I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate the glory of my YouTube channel at Notre Dame. Okay, my glorious YouTube channel with 67 subscribers, and that's okay. And do a show there and show you some tailgating skills that I might have. Okay, which I probably don't have, but you get my you get my 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 drip. And if you want me to show you uh, Notre Dame, if you want me to show you the campus, those of you who haven't been there, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Should I tailgate, have fun, get a little tipsy, or be like every Notre Dame fan, follow the band, go to the Golden Dome? go to the church, blah, 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 do all the boring things, do the things that antique people do when they go into a store, look at everything, and get awed by it. So let me know with your description below. The game is on October 30th. It is a night game, 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern on NBC. I will be there. I cannot wait. And hopefully I will do a show, uh, not necessarily live, but they call it a remote, a remote show at Notre Dame Stadium or on the, on the campus somewhere, and I'll have to figure something out. Now, let's shift gears a little bit, and, you know, there's been a little bit of college football news with the vaccines. Now, I gotta be very careful here, because it's like walking on eggshells when it comes to the vaccine. I don't want to give you guys any misinformation, I don't want to piss off anyone at, at Google or anyone at YouTube and get canceled and get taken down for misinformation, because a non-college educated 41 year old loser in his basement is talking to you now and i don't want to give you guys information that you might run with and you might get me in trouble because what kind of information would this loser give you okay because i'm not a medical professional so um 
The Washington State football coach and four other assistant coaches were fired because they refused to take the vaccine. That's all I'm going to say. It is fact. It is in the news. Also, Kyrie Irving of the NBA is being vilified because he refuses to take the vaccine. Good for him. I, you know, I, I feel my opinion about the vaccine, and I will say this. You have the right to take it, and you also have the right not to take it. No one should force you to take it, okay? And even if you don't take it, and you do not you do take it, no one in the media, especially Stephen A. Smith over at ESPN, should ever vilify you. And that's the problem. It seems like the media and all these experts out there and all these celebrities are vilifying each other because they refuse to take the jab, as they would call it, or the vaccine. Uh, even the commissioner of the NBA said that he was going to talk and try to encourage Kyrie Irving in taking the vaccine. No, you shouldn't have to because that is his personal choice and no one should be forced to do anything. And that's the world we live in today, folks. That's all I can say. If I give you more of my opinions, I can get canceled here on Google or YouTube. And I don't think you would want that because I think you want to see my next video at Notre Dame Stadium and South Bend. So again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I make a video of Notre Dame, a tour of Notre Dame, or maybe make a video of me tailgating half drunk talking about Notre Dame football, either if they win or they lose, or if I'm tipsy. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll talk to you guys later on down the road. Very excited about going to South Bend here in a week and a half. Take care, everyone, and God bless.